Hello, this is the Tuner algorithm on the Listing Mark IV. This is the updated version in firmware version 4.21. Uh, it's a chromatic tuner. It shows on the display the note that uh, it's getting from whatever you're feeding in. So the input is on X. I'm feeding it in this case from this simple DIRT for VCO. Running it out through a Mordax data for confirmation in a bigger screen. Um, so, Yes, it shows the note and then these three dots uh, display further information, which I shall explain. So just to give you an idea, to go up and down, changes the note. Capital letters are natural notes. Small letters mean sharp. So that's a C sharp, D, D sharp. The um, two rightmost LEDs indicate how close it is to the note. So if we approach C, very carefully, then that indicates in tune. So the one on the right in the middle and the one just to the left of it uh, should not be lit when it's actually in tune. So that's, that's a very incredibly sensitive tuning knob on this piece here. Um, that's in tune on a C. If you want to make it an A, you can go up. A is there, that's in tune on an A. The other dot uh, just to the right of the letter is the octave. So if we go up and down with the octave switch, you can see that jumping up and down. Go down and go down again, and that's the A. Right down there, all the way up. There we go. The VCO is a little bit wobbly at this frequency. You can see it skipping about. Let's go back down to a normal, usual range. The, um, there's only one parameter on this algorithm, which is sets the tuning reference. So by default, it's A equals 440. So an A there is 220, that's an octave down. If I change this, it's basically offsetting the tuning reference in Hertz. So if I go down minus eight, We've now got A equals 432, and it's going to show that in the display. So if I retune my A, let's go an octave higher. So there we go. It's now telling me that A is in tune, but it is in fact 432 hertz, because that's the tuning reference I select. Um, the only other feature of this um, algorithm, output A is a straight copy of the input. So you can basically put your things through it and leave it patched in without affecting the signal. Um, and in fact, if we switch this over to the oscilloscope mode, so that's the um, ramp wave from the VCO. Output B is a sine wave that it generates at the frequency it's tracked. So you can use that to synthesize a sine wave. You can also use it as a kind of confirmation that's tracking the frequency you think it's it's tracking. Um, the Z knob simply sets the amplitude of that output, um, which of course is C variable through the ZCV, but primarily this is a tuner. Um, and there you go, that's it, the tuner of the listing mark for.